Alright, welcome back everybody to my channel and today we are doing another LEGO tutorial and this time we are looking at the controller uh, or the gamepad for my version of the uh, Nintendo Switch. This is the uh, physical controller that holds the Joy-Cons. So if we keep this here and we have our Joy-Cons here, they do slide right down into here. And then you can hold it like a regular gamepad controller as uh, as it would for like an Xbox or a PlayStation. And then you can also remove them for uh, handheld use or to put in the console. I did design this based off the charger uh, console, so there's a plug in the front here. Um, it is like shaped like a grip, so we've got uh, curved sides here. There's a little uh, overhang underneath where the controllers would be. Got curves here. The bottom is actually based off of a few circles and angle plates there, as you can see. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'll just try to show you each detailed view of the device as much as I can. Now this is a probably the most fragile part of the model. Um, like I said in one of the other videos, this is certainly not a model you can play with or let younger children play with or whatever. If you decide to build one of these, it is highly recommended that it is for uh, like demonstration or as a showcase only because it is very fragile. And this component of the model is certainly the most fragile. Um, all of the walls and different uh, shaped pieces on each side are just held together by a few studs each. So it's certainly something that can be easily broken, something that's easy to, you know, shift around, uh, loosen. So anyway, with that in mind, uh, let's get started on this tutorial. First up, we're going to build kind of the center part of the controller where the joysticks will attach. And so to do that, we are going to start off with two of these 2x6 plates and two of these 6x12 plates. So what we're going to do is just line these up like this right next to each other. Very easy, very simple. And then we're going to place these two on top of them in the opposite direction, kind of lock it all together. So as you can see there, we're holding it together like this. Just press that down on all sides, make sure you get an even, even lock on there uh, with the larger plates, especially uh, if they're newer pieces. It's very easy for them to not stick together all the way, so just make sure you've got a nice tight lock there. Fill it in with your other plate, and there we go. Okay, next up let's take some tiles, a 1x2 tile first. That's going to go at the very top. I mean, it doesn't matter what order, obviously, but I'm going to put it up here. Then we're going to take two of these 1x8 tiles and place them right along the sides here like so. And then some 1x4s directly underneath them. Now, of course, as always with my models and with the rest of the stuff that we build here on this video, feel free to substitute your own parts. If you want to use two 1x6 plates, if you want to use three 1x4s, whatever you want to do as long as it doesn't harm the structural integrity, totally okay, and it's great to be creative with these models. My tutorial is just kind of an outline, a general guide to how I built it, and you can modify it uh, the way you like. So now that we have this kind of base for our controller here, let's start off with some bricks. We're going to use five of these 2x4 bricks and one of these 2x6. Obviously the 2x6 will go at the bottom right there underneath the remaining plates. And then we're just going to use these 2x4 bricks to fill in the gap on the way up. One by one until there's just one left. Now you may ask what we're going to do with this space. Well, I will tell you. We will use some 1x2 bricks, one in black, two in dark gray, and we're just going to place them around this 1x2 tile that's left with the black one behind it, like so. Okay, now uh, we're going to do something a little tricky here with the remaining tiles that we need to do. First off, let's take a 1x6 tile and a 1x2 plate, and we're going to stack them together like this. Um, then we need another 1x6 tile here, and hold those together like this to make a 2x6 area tile. Now we're going to take two of these 1x4 plates and place them underneath the edge, just like this, to hold those tiles together. Okay, so what you have should look like this now. 
and that is just gonna sit right on top of this with that one by two plate filling in this gap here. So just sit those down there and this is going to be the slider where our Joy-Cons fit in. Next up we are going to need four 1x6 tiles. Two are going to go on the base down here and two are going to be used to hold these 1x8 plates up. Again with the 1x4's we're going to place them on the underside of these just like so. Easy to line up. Fantastic. Make sure that's straight. And that is going to go on down here facing upward. Perfect. Just like that. Now of course uh, if you want to you can use any arrangement of tiles to fill in this. Um, I will use 1x8's. You can use one of the big 6x6. Six six. You can use these 1x6 uh, all the way across. Doesn't matter as long as it holds together well. I will be using six of these one by eight tiles here. Probably would look better to use all the one by six, but I generally don't think that far ahead, unfortunately. And these last two one by eights are going to be placed on the edge. If you try and place it on, you'll see it crunches down like this. Just run your finger kind of right up in that gap. Push them together like so. Awesome. Same for the other side. Okay, perfect. And now this is the center piece of our uh, controller that we're going to use, charging port, Joy-Con slots. So now let's build the handles right around it. So to begin the actual hand controller part of the console, we're going to start off with a little bit of a back beam, as it were. We've got our uh, 10 by 2 plate here, or 2 by 10 I suppose it is, and we've got two of our little, uh, I guess, what are these called, slide shoes, is that what they are? And so those are going to go on underneath right here, just like that, super simple. And that's going to be the underpinning of our machine. Not, well, okay, good job. Next up we are going to take a 1x4 uh, plate, stick it right on top here just like so. Um, we're going to build one half and then the other half so that you guys can see. Um, and then if you'd like to, it's I mean it's the same for both sides, just in reverse. Uh, so we'll have that. Next up we are going to use a 4x4 four four circular plate amabob. And that's going to go on right here, just like so. A 2x3 plate. We're just going to sit right on there, lined up with the top edge. And a 1x2 uh, cheese slope. And that's going to fit right on top here. And that's going to be kind of the ledge where the Joy-Cons are going to slide over. Next up, we need a 3x3 three three plate with the little curve on the side, as you can see. That is going to go right down here. Next up let's take two 2x4 two tiles and place those right on top of that to lock it in. And a little 1x1 one one tile. Put that down right here. Awesome. So there's the first few steps completed. Next up we we're going to take oh, a oh geez, a one by eight tile, and that's gonna sit right down here on the uh, last stud of the circle. I don't know how well you can see where that's lined up, but it's gonna sit right down there. Flipping to the underside, we have oh hang on, we have a one or a two by three tile that's gonna sit right here and hold those together a little bit better. Sorry, I know it's probably confusing going with the back and forth, but... So we're going to have this here. On top of the uh, remaining stud is a, I guess it's 2 by 4 plate with the angled side. And that's going to fit right on there. 
Now, the next thing we need is our other 4x4 circular plate right here. He's going to go on just like that, hanging on to the edge of this curve here. You can see we're developing the shape of the controller. We're going to take a 1x4 tile and a 1x2 tile and place them on the bottom of the circle, just like that. And then what we're going to use is another of the 2x4 plates with the angles, and that's going to sit right up there in that remaining space. Okay. Next up, we're going to use a couple of these bricks right here, one by one with uh, side studs. And one of them is going to have two one by one plates underneath it, and one of them is going to have two one by one studs underneath it. Um, this is personal preference. I am using the square uh, plates right here versus the studs to denote which one is going to stay stationary and which one's going to rotate because one of these blocks is going to stay lined up with the controller and one of them is going to be turned slightly. So I use the square ones to show which one's kind of stable. Um, anyway, but we're going to stack the two plates underneath the brick just like so and same thing with the two studs. There we are, just like that. So now you've got these two little towers with the uh, bricks with four side studs, just like that. The one with the squares is going to go down here at the bottom stud closest to the last curve right there. And then the side studs with the rounded post is going to go uh, two studs above it, or they're just going to have a one space in between. And we'll leave that one unrotated for the moment. Next up, let's grab a 2x2 two two plate a 1x2 plate and just stack them on top of each other like so. Then we're going to take a 2x6 plate and place it in that remaining space here. Now, unfortunately when I ordered my pieces I must have made some small mistake because I didn't get the right number, but the goal here is to use tiles to make this a 9 stud long thing of, of smooth tiles. Um, I expected two more of these 2x4 tiles to place in there, but I don't have them, um, and so I could have looked around, I suppose, but I was satisfied with the way it looks uh, with these studs open here, just because the Joy-Con's covered up anyway. So that's the basic idea of this part of the model, is to create a flat surface here, and that is going to be attached on the lowest brick with the side stud here, and that should just line up with the inside studs right there. Um, it's going to be right up next to them. There's not space in between. You cannot fit another brick in there. That's okay. That matches the uh, precise dimensions of the Joy-Con controller itself. And you'll notice it is not connected to this second side studs brick. That may seem less stable, but it is very important that you do not connect it to this brick. Okay, next up let's build the little bottom portion of this. So to start off, we will have a 2x3 plate here. Come on, give me some give me some focus. There we go. So we're going to have a 2x3 plate, um, and a 2x2 two two brick with the upside-down angle is going to go on the end here, and a 2x2 two two plate is going to sit next to it, just like this. Next up, place two 1x2 two plates here, just on top of each other to line up with that uh, brick there, except it's not going to line up very well because we're taking a third 1x2 plate and putting it there so we have kind of a step ladder looking thing. Um, on this side, we're going to take one of these new 2x2, two two, uh, the small slopes, small curves, that's going to sit right on top just like that. And then on the other side, we're going to take two of these 1x2x1 two one and one thirds bricks with arches and then for that last space with the studs, a simple 1x2 tile. Now this, as you can probably tell, is going to attach down at the base of the controller, just like so. And it's going to be lined up with that little circle down there. Perfect. Next piece. Okay, the next part's really simple. We just need a 2x3 plate here, two of these 1x6 plates, 
and two of the one by four, um, I guess by one tall total uh, archway pieces. So we're going to take this one by or two by three plate, attach our slopes to a single stud on the end, and attach two of these one by six tiles to the other side, just like that. Very simple. Now this is the part where this block is going to rotate. I'm just going to turn it. No, nope. not the straight one. Make sure the bottom ones always line up with those studs. This one we're going to rotate just a little bit and attach this piece like so. And that's going to be the outside edge of the controller. You can see how that creates a diagonal shape. And there's just one piece left. The last piece is composed of two of these uh, two by four plates with angles, a single one by four plate, a single two by two tile, a single one by four tile, a single of these one by one plates with the little tooth on the side. Let's start from there. We'll take a one by four tile connected to that tooth, just like so. One of these two by four plates is going to go underneath it, just like this. And our two by two tile will fill that remaining stud. Then, uh, to finish off this piece, the other angle tile or angle plate is going to go on underneath that, continuing that line. And our one by four plate uh, on the opposite side of that. So here's this kind of diagonal piece we have. And obviously, it's going to go on right on top of these. Now, notice where the placement of the two snot bricks are. Those are going to line up with the first and third holes on the, on the bottom angle piece. Just like that. I don't know if you can see it, but that's where they're going to be at. And just be so careful as you push that down. Again, this is a very fragile model. But it looks like we got it. There we go. And so this is now the uh, right side of the controller. I had to think about that. So this is the right side of our handle controller. The left side is going to be much the same. So to begin this piece of the puzzle, we're going to be using a 4x6 tile, unlike the 4x4, or plate, excuse me, unlike the 4x4, <clears throat> because that is a 2x10 back there. And so to start this one off, we will also have the uh, 4x2 tiles here. Those are going to be connected to a 2x3 plate and the 3x3 plate with the corner, the rounded corner side, just like that. 1x1 one one plate down there underneath. Sorry, I keep rotating it around. And our 4x4 four four wheel or plate with the axle on the right there. Nope, sorry, one more. There we go. So that's going to sit on top right there. Our 1x2 cheese slope on the top here. <clears throat> then we've got the 1x8 tile filling in on uh, these studs here. I believe that's where it goes. Then on the back, 2x3 plate directly underneath that circular piece. 2x4 plate with angle on that last stud there. It's going to get attached to the other wheel, the other 4x4 wheel plate here, just like this. 2x4 or 1x4 tile, 1x2 tile on the bottom. And last but not least, our 2x4 angle plate. So here's the base of the other side. We will again follow the steps with the um, the one by or one by one bricks with side studs. We've got the two square tiles, the two round tiles, plates. Goodness, I always interchange those terms. I'm sorry, that's got to be confusing for you guys. So we'll just make little stacks of those, just like on the other side, and the square one will be down here at the bottom, and the round one will be 
up here on the third stud. Just a few pieces left. Let's start off with the 2x2 two two plate, and that's going to have the 1x2 plate on top of it, and then the 2x6 connecting them, then our 1x2 tile and the 2x4 tile, just like that. That connects right on here. Make sure that's lined up properly. Give it just a little bit of tension so it doesn't wiggle around so much. Again, make sure it's not connected to both of them. Next up we have our bottom side pieces. So we're going to start off again with that 2x3 plate. Put a 2x2 two two plate on one side and the 2x2 two two brick with the upside down slope on the other, just like that. Then we need three of our 1x2 tiles. Get those stacked up here. Two right there next to the brick, excuse me, next to the brick, and one on top. So we've got that little stair step formation. Our 2x2 two two sloping plate right here. Our uh, one by two by one and one thirds bricks with arches right there. And to cap it off, the one by two tile. And that is going on down here. Just like that. Perfect. And of course, we make sure it's the opposite rotation from this one, just so that the Joy Con fits well. Another easy component we've got our uh, one by three or two by three, goodness, two by three plate and the two 1x6 tiles just going on right there and the two 1x4 plates with the uh, arches, the slopes so we've got a piece just like that and this is the one that we're curving our brick with side studs for just give that a little bit of a tilt and snap that on Okay, that seems well adjusted enough. And finally we have our 1x1 one one with tooth and the 1x4 tile. Snap those together. Add the 2x4 with angle plate. Make sure it's facing the opposite angle as these ones down here. 2x2 two two tile. 2x2 two two plate, 4x2 two plate with angle. 1x4 plate here. Get those all attached and secured. And we'll lock those onto these little studs right here. Just like that. Beautiful. Next thing we need to do, attach these like this. We get a good connection on there so they hold together. Perfect. And so now here is our controller handles. And of course, the last thing we need to do is finally place our actual controller brick back on here. Okay, I believe this is where I had them. Okay, pardon that mistake. So that is going to be four studs down from the uh, top of the controller. Let's get these reattached. Again, I cannot emphasize enough that this is a flimsy model. There we go. That looks better. Make sure that's all secure. Okay, so... This is our controller for the LEGO Nintendo Switch. Let's get these guys to fit in here. Uh, I suppose one way when you're building this to avoid the mistake that I just made. The little controllers, the um, triggers on the back of the uh, Joy-Cons are going to sit on top of these circles. So that's one way to measure. Probably should have done that before. 
Um, yeah, but anyway, so there's the controller here with the Joy-Cons in it. Um, yeah, that's about the end of this model for now. So, if you did appreciate this tutorial, I know I did make a few mistakes this time, uh, sorry for, for that, but like I said, this is based on memorization, so I can't uh, keep track of everything easily. But anyway, this is my uh, tutorial. If you'd like to see the showcase of the whole thing with the console, the controllers, and the dock, go ahead and check out there's a link in the description below. There are also links to the other tutorials for all the other parts to this. Um, yeah, so go ahead and check those out. If you did like this video, let me know by leaving a like or by commenting, letting me know what you think of the build, if there's anything I could have improved on or anything you'd like to see added, details that I missed even. So definitely look forward to hearing about that. And otherwise, I will see you guys in the next LEGO uh, video, gaming, animation, whatever I do next. So thank you guys for watching.